Poor diet is the number one driver of death and disability in many developed countries, including Australia. Heart disease and diabetes are undeniably linked to diet. People with mental illness die on average 15 to 20 years earlier than the general population, mainly from much higher rates of heart disease and diabetes. That's a national health crisis. To make matters worse, a really high percentage of people who receive medication, particularly antipsychotics, gain a lot of weight really fast. We know that weight gain and an unhealthy diet are huge drivers of these kinds of disease. So it's clear that we need to find a solution for people receiving this essential treatment. When I saw the ad for a dietitian position on a new lifestyle program for young people experiencing psychosis, it was something completely new to me. I learned that people with mental illness eat a lot more processed foods and drink a lot more sweetened drinks and that the medication necessary for recovery increases appetite. So I applied for the job. We compared clients starting treatment at two mental health services. In one, we introduced a lifestyle program that improved people's diets and levels of physical activity while they received usual care, and one where we made no change to usual care. In the service where we made no change, 75% of clients gained significant weight. In the hospital where we worked with clients on lifestyle choices, 13% of clients gained significant weight during treatment. This is a really promising result for closing that gap in physical health. We have known for a long time that there's a link between healthy diet and better mood, but only recently have trials demonstrated that eating better improves the symptoms of depression. We don't fully understand how this works, but we're gaining a greater understanding of potential pathways. Our current focus is the gut-brain axis, a communication pathway that goes both ways between the brain and the bacteria in our gut. We know that eating better foods such as fruit, vegetables, whole grains, nuts and seeds, and less processed and refined food improves our gut bacteria. We think this influences our brain and behavior, and this could be one of the ways diet and mood are linked. It's clear from the research that a healthy diet can improve the physical and potentially the mental health of people with mental illness. We do need to continue with this research, but we don't have to wait for more results to integrate dietary interventions into usual care for mental health services. The next step is that we need to make access to healthy food easier and more affordable in this vulnerable population.